What I want to share with you today is exactly what microphone do I recommend to use when you're using video to record. Now there's two different types of microphones you can use and it really depends exactly what you're doing. If you're using the camera, which is what right now I'm talking on the camera, sharing with you exactly what I'm doing or if you've got something hooked up or if you're using your computer to do a screen capture, which you know you want a different mic for that as well. So first thing I want to share with you is the exactly the lapel mic that I use to be able to clip onto me. So you can see this little, I don't know if you can see right here, but there's a little mic that's clipped onto my shirt. And this mic uh, goes directly straight into the, the video camera. And make sure that the camera that I've recommended, there's another video as, I, as I've shared with you in the past, is exactly what camera to use. So I recommend the Canon T3i camera or the Kodak ZI8 camera, which is in another video which you can have a look later on. Anyway, so coming back to it, this is the mic that I'm currently using and it's just basically a wired mic. It comes with a switch and this is what we call a condenser mic and the switch just turns it off and on. And then what it has is an extension which just clips on with uh, like a little mic that you just clip onto your shirt right here. And then it comes with a three and a half mil jack port or jack um, socket that you plug straight into it like a male to female. And that's all you need. Something like this I picked up from uh, Tandy and also Dick Smith, Dick Smith here in Australia for around about 30 bucks. So it's a really good quality mic. It comes with a battery. So there's a little lithium battery that's in here. Well, not lithium, but um, small little battery. I can't remember what they're called. I should know because my family does change the watch batteries for, for their business. Um, but yeah, inside there, there is a little, little battery there which keeps the mic uh, running and also to, it produces that nice quality sound. So if I actually took out the mic right now, which I'll do in a sec. So I've taken out the mic right now and you can see that it sounds very echoey. It's a really bucket type of noise. And that's the reason why I wanted to share that with you to show you what it sounds like. And now the mic's plugged back in. So you can tell that it makes a huge difference to the quality of the sound. And I highly, highly recommend that whatever video you're doing to make sure that you do have the sound. It doesn't matter the quality of the video is not too good, you know, you can get away with that, but the sound is very, very important. Special effects adding on sounds and stuff like that is the reason why a lot of movies are successful is because the sound is very, very good quality. And you don't see the behind the scenes because usually they've got mics up at the top, uh, they've got mics on the side and stuff like that, and they try to capture the best quality sound if possible. All right, so that's what I use currently for the cameras that I record on. Second thing is, as I mentioned, you can also get what we call a condenser mic, which I currently use to record all my screen capture softwares, oh, sorry, screen capture videos. And the mic that I currently use is called the Rode Podcaster. Rode Podcaster is very, very good. It's made in Australia and it's of high quality, but the sound quality is absolutely amazing. And I'd recommend if you're gonna spend some money on getting a, a good quality mic, that's what I would get for the computer when you're doing screen recordings or whatever you're doing, even for podcasts. So definitely check that out. If you can't afford something like that, which is quite pricey, I understand that, check out the Snowball mic, which is also a relatively priced mic that's about half the price. Quality-wise, yeah, it's not too bad, um, but it doesn't have that kind of, uh, it doesn't have all the extra functions that uh, you'd be looking at for a particular mic like that. And it just sits there on the desktop. So if you want to lean down and talk into it, you've got to talk relatively close to pick up good quality. Whereas the Rode Podcast mic, you can get a shock stand and you know all that shebang, <laughs> which is what I've got as well. And I'll show you a setup of it. Um, you can see actually a setup of it in my in my office, and that way you get an idea of how it is. So anyway, as I said, it's very important to have the right equipment and the right mic to go with your Canon or with your camera. I'm really having a tongue twister today, but um, I'm going to do my best. Excuse me for that. But yeah, get the right mic and make sure that the quality of your sound for your videos are of high quality because it really makes that extra little bit different to make your video stand out. All right, if you've got any further questions and you would like to add in any further feedback to it to let me know what you think about these videos and also let, let me know what you think about the microphones I recommended, feel free to leave it down below. And I'd love to be able to answer any of your questions as well. Well, thank you very much for watching this video. My name is Tyron Shum from Outsourcing Live. And remember, just outsource it. Now, if you like more resources like this one, you can find them inside Mass Outsource Mastermind. 
along with video tutorials and step-by-step -step instructions showing exactly how I use them. To get a 30-day no-risk trial membership to Mass Outsource Mastermind, simply visit freevideoset.com. Until next time, I wish you success in your quest for outsourcing.